All right, welcome back to our NFL series with Sham and Shibby, and we are back. How you been? Back again. Um, I'm feeling good, man. We just chilling. Um, just about to talk about this good football shit. What'd you just watch? Speaking of football, man, uh, <laughs> I just checked out this uh, video with Antonio Brown in this pool, man. He, he bugging. You might have seen it. You might have heard about it. He bugging in this pool, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro, but hey, man, power to him. Dude, Fuck he it. is a fucking menace. He is. Antonio Brown, he's the Kanye West of the football world. Bro. And he hangs out with Kanye West, go figure. Hey, man. You know? Fuck it. I guess name one gen- genius that isn't crazy. That's true. That's I true. guess they fucking crazy geniuses, bro, allegedly. <laughs> I mean, but there are geniuses that are a little less crazy than Kanye and Antonio Brown. I think they. I think Antonio Brown's got a little CTE from Vontez Burfecht. Oh, oh, easily he has CTE. <laughs> it, it's definitely deeper with him. Dude, you remember Burfecht? They like, fucking knocked him out. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That bro. was nuts. That hit. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think I know that people, hit is why this is happening. That exact hit, right? Yeah. Now. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> I think Burfecht should get charged for what Antonio Brown just did in the pool. <laughs> oh yeah, for real, bro. He ruined that man's life, bro. And, and it's crazy. I know people who don't even know football who know that hit, like, specifically. Yeah. Like, oh, that one hit crazy. was too much, bro. So that's crazy. Well, speaking of ass, Thursday night football <laughs> is fucking ass, bro. Trash. Man. Broncos are ass. Colts are ass. The scheduling's ass. ass. Nathaniel Hackett is ass. ass. Wilson's washed. It's yeah. all just bad. It was it's all bad. bad. I'm not quite see- there to say Wilson's ass just yet, but he's I'm, washed. I'm I'm looking at it right bro. now. Like he's Pete, ass right now. Right yeah. now he's ass. Yeah. This Pete, iteration. Pete is Carroll ass. in in like Seattle, they did a good job at like. Bro, Pete Carroll is evil great. laughing right yeah. now. He's like <laughs> he's watching yeah. these Bronco games. Definitely rubbing he's his hands together it. and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's chilling, bro. I mean, and it's crazy, bro, because really what it is in that offense, he never was exposed to really do that, you know, be heavily upon, like be dependent on that much. Yeah, he's yeah, he's had a good run game and a good defense. It basically, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like he's he has to be Superman on this team. Mm-hmm. He's got to be the. He's got to prove that he's the MVP. And it's not that he can't play and put those numbers up. But I think he needs a lot of help. That makes it a little easier for him to do that. Right now, he's doing. He's trying to be a one man show, you know. And the coach is against him at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, he might not actually be, but his play calling is not helping, and nothing. Yeah. Nothing he's doing is helping. So nothing at all. Man. I think they either need to get a new coach quick, or Wilson's just maybe. He maybe he's not working out here in Denver. I don't know. Maybe it's a little too early to see, but. It's looking bad, bad. Yeah, I want to actually, on wax, I'm going to do this shit right now. Russell Wilson in 2022. I want to know his stats as a Broncos. They can't be good. Yeah. So, Russell Wilson, the quarterback of the Broncos, so far this year, 1,254 yards and uh, four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. We're going into, what, week five now? Yep. That's week a touchdown five. Game. That's and not good. And... He has four touchdowns, three interceptions. Uh, his longest pass this year is 67 yards. He's been sacked 16 times. I cannot talk right now. <laughs> he uh, fumbled once, and his QBR is, I believe, is at 82 right now, 82.8. And um, completion percentage. Uh, can't talk. Completion percentage right now is fifty nine percent. It's not like terrible, but it's not. It's, it's not, not enough to win you the game at all. It's not. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not, not that. It's not that contract. Yeah. It, let's put it this way: it's not that contract, and it's not what we like to talk about. Top sixteen quarterback, top echelon quarterback type play at all. No, it's nowhere all. near there, bro. And it's it's crazy because right now, it's kind of hard to um, gauge where he is right now. Just like. Because there's so many quarterbacks playing kind of like up and down right now, you yeah. know? So it's like, he's horrible, but look around the league right now. Who's really playing elite other it, than like it's, five names? Yeah, dude. It's crazy to me that Amazon put all that money into that game, though. I mean, <laughs> we had to watch all, they put all that money to watch that fucking awful Thursday night game. And the rest of them are going to be just as bad. But uh, not to get too far off the quarterback topic, there's another, you know, quarterback question going around that I think is just absolutely blasphemous. And it's yeah. Joe Burrow or Lamar Jackson. Oh, and I man. think that's just disrespectful to, <laughs> to Lamar Jackson to even have that as a question yet. What has as Joe Bur- Burrow really done? Uh, he had than, one good run last yeah, year. Yeah, he had one good run last year. Which I'm not knocking his last season, right? but that was it. Maybe but, him in college is more self-like, like, you know, I would look at his resume from college to the league. 
But sure. even then, no. Even then, Lamar Jackson is a league MVP. Exa- unanimous. You know? Unanimous yeah. at that. Former, former league MVP. He's had multiple successful seasons. Yeah. He hasn't really had a bad season yet. Yep. And he's, what, how many years? Four or five years in at this yeah, point, Yeah, about right? five years in yeah. now. And yep. Burrow's off of, what, two or three at this point? And he's I had believe. one good season. One of those one. he was hurt. Yeah, one he was hurt. Pretty yeah. much his rookie year, he was hurt pretty much like after, yeah. I don't know, what Higher season, basically. Yeah. He was out for season so. with the awful leg injury or whatever. Mm-hmm. I remember that. So I think it's way too early to be saying this shit, and it's honestly disrespectful. Feels a little racist. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It nah, feels bro. Off. What does Burrow no, do better than Lamar no Jackson? No bullshit, Nothing. bro. Nothing. Yeah, he would get that money, bro. If uh, if it was Joe Burrow playing for the fucking Ravens right now, he would have got paid. Yeah. I mean, granted, he probably would have negotiated to get paid, but I mean. Lamar they would have gave him the number sooner. Yeah, 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 bro. That's bullshit. I hope Lamar, Lamar never should have had to negotiate. I hope never. he goes off, and then I hope he doesn't even sign with the Ravens next year. I hope he goes and wins yeah. with someone else after this. Hey, Fuck man. him. You want to wait around? And act like he's not your French. He's literally unanimous MVP. Yeah. The Cardinals are in the similar situation where Kyler Murray, who technically really hasn't done shit yeah. compared to Lamar Jackson, but they paid still, him, and they yeah. paid him. That's like, because how he kind of not like, gonna pay? Because he did what he should have yeah. done, but Lamar, the I mean, Lamar Jackson tried to do it too, and the Ravens just I said mean, no. This past how? off season, everybody kind of did that. Same. Yeah, but how did the Ravens Boy, just say no to get paid? Everybody did it to get that, paid. It's just crazy. Everybody man. got paid. Yeah, literally. Except everybody Lamar. Got paid. Except, Except Lamar. Lamar. And then now literally. it's pissed, and that's why he's Even not. I don't fucking, think he's gonna be a Raven next year. Didn't Debo Samuel get paid too? I think so too. Everybody yeah. got paid. So I know. That. God damn, bro. Dude. Yeah, but not Lamar, the yeah. unanimous MVP, one of the top five quarterbacks in yeah. the league. You know, like even a motherfucker who hasn't played football and it's damn nuts. near since the pandemic, Deshaun Watson got paid. And not to mention what else he's done. Like, bro, come on, that's crazy. It's not everybody it's got nuts. paid, bro. but Lamar Jackson. Wow. It doesn't make sense. Dude. Yeah, it just doesn't it make does. sense. And it's a spit in the face to Lamar Jackson. And honestly, I hope he I said, I hope he continues to go off this season. And I hope he just takes his talent elsewhere. Fuck yeah. Baltimore. If you're gonna treat him like that, fuck you. Yeah, you're out of here. You're <coughs> and I love the city of Baltimore for Lamar. Like, I feel like that's a great city for him to be in, but, you know, fuck it. At this rate, Miami might need a quarterback. You know, his ass from the 305. He said Miami's going to need a quarterback. I mean, at this fucking rate, who knows, was going to be fucking out from CT already at this point. And Speaking of quarterbacks. While we on quarterbacks, yeah. While we on quarterbacks. Are you going with Cooper Rush or yeah. is that going you are? Yeah, okay. let's, talk. let's talk about is Cooper, Cooper Rush. Is Cooper Rush legit? Is Cooper Rush legit? So if you what ask you me... This season, with the quarterback play we've been seeing, from mediocre to trash to me personally, um, I would say Cooper Rush has been playing like a top 15 quarterback for the last few weeks that he's been in the game. But do you think that's just like, you know, beginner's luck kind of I thing, mean, good situation, be, uh, or do you think he's actually going to turn out to be something? In the, do you think he'll be a future starter? Let's make that uh, the question. Will he be a future starter in the NFL, whether with the Cowboys or with another team? I personally think he'll go start with another team. I don't think he'll actually uh, live up to his expectations, though. Um, he I may go start with another is. team. Somebody else may be risking to pay him because, again, look how atrocious the quarterback play has been this year. Yeah, look someone's going to pay him. Somebody will pay, Someone him, will pay him, but I don't honestly think it should be within a heartbeat. I definitely think it should be like something that people could – you know, should consider before doing so. Yeah. So, but I mean, within the last what he started the last four games, maybe three or four games. Yeah, I think it's four. This uh, but yeah, well, he didn't play in that first game, right? Because no. I think Dak played the whole first game. Then it was like, oh, he broke his thumb or some something shit like, like that. that. Something. So I don't he know. Might have if came he, in halfway. I don't yeah, he exactly might have. I don't give a fuck about that. Recent games, right? Cowboys. Yeah, of course, his recent games. Uh, if their first game was Tampa Bay, he played that game. But every game after that, bro, he's kind of showed up. Uh, you know, he hasn't thrown an interception. They've done a good job of blocking him. He hasn't been sacked much, you know, so the pressure hasn't really came his way. But he's been a good game manager. I'm not going to act like I've watched him play, you know, but uh, he's been doing his thing, bro. I can't hate on it. Yeah, I think he's going to be – I think it's a situation that's making him better than what he is. And like I said, I don't think he's going to be a bad quarterback necessarily, but I think a team's going to – hire him now in the off season or you know trade for him whatever they're going to do i'm not sure of his contract situation and expect a lot more than what they're going to get out of him i think right now i think now, that's what's going to happen I and that's going to label that him as a bust good, but me playing devil's advocate i'm going to say they're going to keep him in dallas 
not pay him or anything. Keep him in Dallas. As a backup? Right? Just behind As a backup Dak? Behind Dak. Because right now, Dak is so up and down, bro. You think we so? Haven't, how long have we seen Dak? We haven't even seen Dak play like football for three straight seasons ever, I think. You know? So, but injury wise, I get that for sure. But I think like, like most Cowboys fans and everyone in that industry or in the organiza- industry in the organization, mm-hmm. I think they like Dak. And I think from the I outside, like too. we don't like him as much just because no. we don't really see much about him. He's kind of just a, I, I he's a like good quarterback, that. but he's not a top quarterback. I, I like think you can that. win with him. I, I think do you can like win with Dak, him. bro. Like, and that's as, that's as an Eagles fan, I do like Dak, but I don't think he's. I think having Cooper Rush there will kind of like light a fire under his ass. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Like, not saying that he's like playing that bad, but him like again being away with injury so often, you know, not saying that it's his fault, but it's just like it's kind of like the wince thing, you know. Yeah. You know, that makes it's sense. only so long that we can keep going with this shit. That's what happened with Romo. It's only so long that we can keep going with this. Like, you can be good, but if you're injured, you're hurt. Yeah, you're not there. Your, ava- your best ability is availability. Yep, that's so true. it just, uh, I hate that I did that, but, you know, it all works <laughs> out. Yeah. But uh, let's get into our season records so far. So you're sitting at 25 and 23. Yeah, your weekly picks, and I'm at 29 and 19. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I had a good week last week. I went 12 and four last week. Yeah, I um last week I'm not gonna make any excuses for why it happened, but I definitely <laughs> went out on a whim. Yeah, in a lot of games, which you know it is what it is. You know when you kind of like that was either gonna be an awesome week for you or a down or a week, and it was week. a down one. Yeah, like, and it was a down week. Time you know you did the same thing and it turned out different. Yeah, it could, you know, and I picked some games again because at at this point, week four, we had so many games, like so many teams and situations that we just couldn't call. The Raiders were 0-3, you know, so I'm like, hey, I'm like, the Broncos are going to win. No, but I knew you, it. He had I a feeling it. like, nah, the Raiders aren't going to keep losing like this. Okay, which is, again, you know, that's that's a good way to look at it, you know. But I'm like, nah, bro, the Broncos aren't that bad. They I really are. didn't want to think like, – I, like, I, I didn't want to convince myself. Like, But, yeah, they are as bad as – check it out. You were right about the Broncos not being that good from the gate. Yeah, and I was wrong I was, about the Jaguars. Yeah, and I was going to say you were wrong about the Jaguars. But I'm, That's I'm what still it is. not willing to admit that yeah. just yet. It's only yeah. four weeks. I mean, but Let's see shit, what they bro, do. I would take the Jaguars three times over the Broncos right now. Right now, yeah. Uh, dude, I don't know if it was a Jaguars-Broncos matchup. I'm going Broncos. I'm still matchup. taking the Jaguars. I'm going Broncos. I'm still matchup. taking the Jaguars. I don't trust the Jaguars. The offense, the offense of the Broncos is nothing. It is. It's non-existent. It is, but it's like... And, and now Javante Williams is out for the year. They'll dull you to sleep. That's what they do, though. Nah, They're bro. They're so boring. Nah, bro. And then you forget they have Russell Wilson. I, he does just enough to get the squeak by a win. Yeah. Like, he should have won last the last game. It was some bullshit. Yeah, I watched... Bad play calling. Uh, you know, that game with us and uh, the Jaguars last week. Yeah. And the Jaguars came out firing, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, like, they came out looking, like, serious. Even though... But I think the way we... Re- we reacted, we were, came out on top because yeah. we just came out like, hey, fuck it. Like, we just got to keep playing our game. And, again, we needed a win like that just to show even when somebody comes out on top, you know, we're not going to be gonna, like, yeah, oh, we're you know how to play it from now. Again, all of our wins in a way have been examples to show us to just keep building towards each game. Yeah, really. that makes so, sense. And, and I knew that fucking Baker Mayfield ain't shit and the Cardinals yeah. were going to roll on him. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. We broke yeah. the Carolina you said it. Panther curse. You I told said you. It. I told you. You said it. And, Panthers um, are trash. I mean, I picked uh, uh, only one, only few that I picked right that you didn't. Uh, I picked 49ers, 49ers over Rams, which is a 50 50 game. Yeah, going back, it was still like you know I wouldn't I wouldn't know who to pick. It was close. I I, I, I just like the 49ers play style. They're gritty. They're gritty. They they remind me of. They've the, always been too. Last they, like. They decade. remind me of like a football version of the Detroit Pistons of the 2000s. Like, they're not the funnest to watch. Sometimes, like, you know, Debo Samuel, he'll break out for a big play. You know, sometimes, like, you know, they'll have something going, but offensively, they're not going to put up like 30 points. Like, they're not going to wow you like yeah. that. But they play hella good defense and. They know how to game manage. Garoppolo's not going to wow you with 350 yards or nothing crazy like that. He'll give you 210 on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's two like, touchdowns, one yeah. interception kind of thing, but, you know, enough to win. And, barely enough to squeak by. 
Commanders, I don't know why I thought they could even beat the Cowboys. I was tripping. Yeah, you yeah. were tripping on that one. Um, Eagles, of course. Uh, Ravens, Bills, that's a split. And, you know, Bills showed up to play. And I picked uh, I picked the Giants, you picked the Bears. Um, I picked the Colts, you picked the Titans. Yeah, so, yeah. Just a little stupid yeah, shit, no, man. It didn't happen, but this week we got the big matchup between our two teams, the Cardinals and the Eagles. And I'm going to look stupid right now and talk my shit before I let you go. Cardinals <laughs> are going to pull out this miracle win. This is how this is what the cardiac cards do. You don't know. They always win the games. That, yeah, they yeah, always I win the games that, that we're not supposed to win. And this is the one we're going to win. We're going to win this game barely. We're going to squeak it out. And then we're going to do terrible next week. Absolutely terrible next week. My phone even. I was gonna say, I'm like, that's because you had your fingers crossed. You got your toes crossed. You like as you talking, like you got your fucking toes crossed. Like you hoping, bro. And you living on a prayer right now. I'm not gonna gonna watch that game together, and it's gonna. I I ain't gonna lie. I mean, yeah, (laughs) fun one. I'm down to watch it, but you living on a prayer. It's cool with me. I'm like. Remember you this. Remember this thing. when. Remember this when the Cardinals Bro, win. Yeah, I, I remember, remember this it. when the Cardinals what, win. What Smokey say on Friday? Remember it. Write it down. <laughs> write a book. Some. I don't give a fuck. Like <laughs> I don't care, bro. Like <laughs> I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We four and one. But you know, if we beat the Cardinals, we rolling into week five, five. I mean, week six, five and zero. Oh. Then we gonna have a bike bye week. I said a bike week. Look. Yeah. So we good. The Eagles are a better team than the Cardinals. I'm not arguing that. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Of course. But I think it's the NFL, and anything can happen. One-off game. Eagles don't really look at us as a serious opponent. They're kind of looking at next week already. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the Cardinals have a little flash. We do what we do. We squeak out a game. It wouldn't even hurt you guys. This is a game that you guys can easily lose. We could. And this I is mean, like, but like I mean, like you can afford to lose. I should have said. Yeah, that. that's what I, I was going to say. It's a very <laughs> affordable loss. You don't yeah. need this win at this point. You're already four and zero. Oh. Mm-hmm. You go four and one, win five and one, even go four and two. We lose the next two games. This is his compromise not, to us losing. It's not hurting your. This season. is how. This we is how teams throw games. We need this. This win. is how team throw. Literally, listen to we what he's saying. This, win. this is how teams throw games, bro. Like <laughs> we need this like, win. Like if you guys lose, you're four and one. It's not that bad. It's not going to really fuck with your playoff. You're still number one in your division. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. That's how teams stole games, bro. But that's how we win. Literally, we're gonna, bro. We're going to win. Shibby is Tim Donaghy. <laughs> the fucking ref. That no, we're games, gonna, it's bro. not throwing games. It's just what's going to happen. You can, you yeah, can afford bro. to lose this game. If Shibby had money, he would be throwing fucking games. Bro. I would be paying that. Get the fuck out of here. Battle, the Cardinals get a Super Bowl. I got an offer time. that you can't refuse. That <laughs> guy. Come on, bro. I know he would be throwing games. It's all good. Yo, though. that is crazy, though, to think about, like, what if Jeff Bezos is like, look. I really want this team to win. He just bought Thursday Night Football, too, so now yeah. this is not as crazy as it sounds. And he's like, look, I really want the the Browns to get their first Super Bowl in a long time. Deshaun it Watson would, and all. No, nah, <laughs> Bro, it would have to be the help and of he's the like, refs like a motherfucker. And he's like, here's $20 billion, Roger Goodell. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. I will pay your revenue for the next three seasons. I'll pay everything. Yeah, right. And he will be like the NFL will be pure how? profit for you for the next three seasons. Yeah, I'll pay the every city bill of you Cleveland have. Cleveland would just go ballistic with fucking merchandise. Like what the hell? I mean, you think he realistically could pay off teams? Like you think <sighs> Roger Goodell could be like, no. look, we gotta let the Browns win this one, guys. Too you much guys are of all a gonna farce. get a bill. Too much of a <laughs> farce. It would have to be like they would have to get there. Like, if they were, like, even, yeah. like, in a good okay. position. Okay. Like, it couldn't be, like, from the gate. Like, it would be too much work with the refs. You put, look, point. look. If they got to be halfway convincing for people We to don't know what the Browns it. are going to do with Watson. We don't yeah. know what the Browns are going to do with Watson. They can secure right. a playoff spot. All you got to do is be white. Yeah. You don't have to be good. Right you now? Nine. Like, you're talking about this season? You could be 10 and 7, this bro. Season? Any season, bro. Any season. Uh, you could like, be right. 9 and 8. You Maybe could be 9 and 8. Season. Make a wild card. And Maybe that's all you got to do to make the Super Bowl. And all you got to do is just, you know, a couple calls. And all of a sudden, you know, the game's rigged. I'm not going to lie. I don't really think the NFL is rigged, but that fucking game all. in Europe, that felt a little yeah. rigged, bro. That <laughs> felt a little rigged. They were like, look, these guys don't get many games. We got to make it a good one. All right. They, that game should have been over. And they were like, how do we make this game keep going? And it just kept going. Yeah. Those field goals. Yeah. Like that felt a little. I think it was they like, let's that. give Europe the most fucking bro, football that was they're ever going to get. That was supposed yeah. to go to overtime, and they were mad that kick missed, but it missed in such a dramatic fashion that they were like, "All right, we'll take it." Yeah, like fuck we'll it, we'll take, take it. it. That was these, basically these, overtime. Yeah, they, they, these fans will remember this one forever. Dude, I'm like, much. I don't want to be that guy, but that if there was ever a rigged game, 
that would be the one to rig. Yeah. Just Money. a little bit. Yeah. Not even fully rig it. Just there were some really bad calls, dude. The refs really like called the legal hands in the face in the first yeah. like three yards off the line of scrimmage. Like he just pushed the receiver, mm -hmm. his finger touched the face mask, and they called a fucking forget give the I think it was the Vikings a first oh, down and no. I might be flipping it around, but Gave the mm. team a chance for a first down to get kick the field goal to keep the game even going in the first place. Right. The game was over. Yeah. And then they caught a flag at just like even the announcers were like, uh, not really sure about that one. Yeah. But that was that was legal. <laughs> like, yeah. And it was just like, um, oh, maybe this one. they might have said, Hey, keep this one going a little longer. The refs definitely got a call about uh if you can keep this one going. Go we ahead will be good. Yeah, we yeah. can cash out. Like, yeah, yeah, like they're not saying necessarily rig the game, but if said, you see any baby ass call definitely throw those flags anything at all and they were just looking okay so but uh let's get into our picks this for this week i got uh i got the list right here so we can do it a little easier okay, yeah 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 i do too. all right so obviously we are after thursday night football we both had the broncos so that's a wash on that one all right yeah. giants packers who do you have i have packers and you have and i have packers as well aaron Rodgers is going to stomp them we yeah. should probably just do a quick like one sentence reasoning to why we think each team is gonna do it for fluidity. Um, personally, the Packers they have to start rolling, and I believe that this is just the a game part you of gotta process. do. Yep. Yeah. So you know, this is a part of like the steamroll. Just keep it moving. Lions, Patriots. I'm going Patriots. Bill Belichick's not gonna lose to fucking Detroit. That's no. it. That's all. That's my only answer to that one. Um, Bill Belichick's gonna find a way to beat the Lions. Yeah, and that was the way I looked at the matchup too. I'm like Belichick's gonna Belichick. I'm not going to. It's really going to be an ugly, boring game. Yeah. He might barely win it. It's going to be yeah. a 15, 13 ass game. Something yep. stupid, field goal galore, but he's going to win. Yep. Somehow, some way. I'm like, I'm cool with that too. Chargers, Browns. That's the split game. I took the Browns. I took the Chargers. Because the Chargers are kind of beat up right now. Fair. They don't really know what they have going on. Herbert, like, they're, they're putting them out there. He's damaged goods right now. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's fair. And this week, Miles Garrett's coming back. Yeah. You okay. Know? So if, I feel like you know he might try to. If there were any back. week this season that I would take them over the Chargers, it would be this this week. Mm -hmm. But I'm still taking the Chargers. I still think it's one. Of, I think this is a fifty fifty game. It is. And it was one of those games where I was not sure who I wanted to go with, but I got it. Herbert's got the dog in him. <laughs> you know he's gonna beat the dogs. He's gonna he's gonna yes. do it. I don't think the Browns are gonna do it. If they had Watson back, I think this is more of a. Maybe Brown side of game, but yeah, I think I got Chargers. All right, Texans, Jaguars. I'm going Jacksonville this time. That makes it two weeks in a row. I think I've picked Jacksonville. You yeah. picked Jacksonville against us? No, no, I'm sorry. Okay. So I picked him the week before that one. Yeah. So sorry, I picked him two times now this season. Okay, um, that's it. That's why I think Jacksonville's <laughs> gonna beat them. Keep going. Texans suck. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, what are Texans we talking suck. about? Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, Falcons, Bucks. Um, Falcons, Bucks. I got Tom Brady and those guys just, you know, routine. Brady has never lost to the Falcons ever in his career. That's a stat that I brought up on That's the first stat. week one. Yeah, I brought that up on the first, uh, second week review, our first NFL special. And um, I'm just not going against that stat, honestly. Yeah, I think Brady, this is his coming back to grace game. I mm -hmm. think he starts to look like the Brady we're used to. Mike mm -hmm. Evans is back, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was back suspension. last week. He had a pretty good yeah, week yeah. last so week. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really good game. I think the Falcons are a shitty team. No offense, yeah. Atlanta. I mean. And uh, I think Brady's going to Brady. Uh, Brady's not going to lose to Mariota. Nope. Steelers and Bills. Uh, I got the Bills, of course. Yeah. And um, I still yeah. think the Bills are the best team in football. Mm -hmm. Kenny Pickett's not going to come in there and. And, and, win and, game. Yeah, I hope I mean, to see him do well. Like, yeah, I do hope to see him, him you know? do well, young fella. Definitely, yeah. you know he's playing for a his, uh, historic franchise, and uh, I think he'll have know. a decent game, but I yeah. still don't think he'll win. I hope they find somebody to pass that torch to. You know, outside of the Roethlisberger, you know. I almost hope they don't win for his sake, because that's going to put this impossible thing to live up to. You know, if they win a fluke game against the Bills. All of a Everybody's sudden, gonna look at him. All of a sudden, I can mean, he? Pay, all the attention's gonna be on him, and that's gonna give, get a lot of chance. Stephen A. To and those up. guys something to talk about. I don't <laughs> give a shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. All right, uh, we got Dolphins Jets. Um, Dolphins Jets. I went with uh, the Dolphins. Is two of us? No. No Bridgewater one more week. Yeah, Bridgewater's gonna be here, and um, I just think Bridgewater's gonna be able to get past this game. Yeah. I, th I picked Dolphins because Jets. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, my yeah. only answer. The that's, Jets are so bad that that's I'm just all I got to say them. as well. You know they're gonna get past this. Yeah, one. Uh, Bears Vikings. 
Vikings because the Vikings have, excuse me, they have finally caught like a little fire, you know. Like they they kind of catching a little hot streak, and I believe the Bears still don't know what they do good yet. They really don't pinpoint what they do well They're yet. They're like a Broncos, dude, yeah. part two. Bad coaching, don't know what to do with their quarterback. Yeah. We, not, it's not to say that Fields is as good as Wilson, but we don't even yeah. know what Fields can do. Well, I don't throw the ball. Again, I really feel like I read a meme the other day, real quick, going to throw this in there, and it was like uh, – the Bears need to utilize fields the way that the Eagles utilize hurts. hurts yeah. You know, like, and I was like, uh, no. I'm like, <laughs> it just didn't happen overnight. I'm like, go watch Hurts in the season that he had to take over, and yeah, he yeah. was a rookie. I'm like, and don't, and then go watch him last year. Everybody was saying, oh, he's such an awful quarterback, and everybody was trashing him last year. Now look at the way they talk about him. Yeah. It's only been three seasons. That's so, what I mean. But they need like, to give Fields a chance. Like he doesn't even have a chance out there. He's yeah. throwing. He's had 34 completions. Yeah, this weeks. is his. They don't. They don't get him to throw the ball. Yeah, and, and with quarterbacks, um, with quarterbacks, you got to give them like three to four years, man, to come along. Like some That's guys. True. Some guy, we said it before, like yeah. Mahomes and the Allens kind of in, in the Herbert, the even pool. the Herberts. Yeah. They tainted the idea of what a quarterback yeah. going to come out to be. In the be. Jacksons, you know, like it's these just guys, not the even way. fucking Murray. These guys are they all came out firing on all cylinders. Like we don't have those many guys in the league, and it's hard to find those guys. Like it, Peyton and Manning even with didn't those even guys. Fucking, look yeah. at I mean Murray again, my quarterback and all hasn't really even accomplished all that much. Yeah. Even Lamar Jackson, the unanimous MVP and all. Yeah. You know, he does, he's had one playoff win. At the end of the day, so, man, it's it's one goddamn football Lombardi is a team trophy. Sport. And yeah. football is a team sport. And it's day. one Lombardi. You know, not everybody's going to be able to get it, you know, no matter how elite you are. So, you don't Nick even Foles need has one, bro. You don't That's even, what yeah, I'm exactly. saying. Nick Foles has one. So, it's just like, what, what's, what's the... There's no path. Team. Yeah, there's no path to this shit. An elite team tops an elite quarterback every yeah. time. Every, every time. time. It doesn't matter. Every time. So History um, shows it. You know, like, it doesn't matter. So we got that uh, one Titans, down. Commanders. Titans, Commanders. I, I got definitely Titans. picked the Titans. I, I'm down on the Commanders. I don't know if Chase Young is even back yet. Wentz sucks. Wentz sucks. Wentz sucks. <laughs> and as long as he is under center for your team, he's not going to do well. I would personally go ahead and... You know, I don't give a fuck what the money's about. Put him on the bench and pull out Taylor Heineke. Yeah. Yeah. It's just time for it. Heineke played well when he was the starter. Look, you know and, what Wentz is going to be yeah. and who he is. You don't know who anyone else is. The rookies, anybody new. But throw someone new in there. You have a better chance than fucking Carson Wentz. The best he's going to do is get you to a wild card. And that's it. That's yeah. his peak. That's that is his absolute peak. peak. That's his and peak. that's best. That's a best case scenario. You can get Joe Flacco in there. He'll do the same fucking exactly thing right thing. now. Exactly. Literally. It's the best case scenario. And even that is the stretch. Seahawks, Saints. I got Saints. I got Seahawks. You're because trusting Seahawks. Gino. Yeah, because um, I think uh, my boy, um, uh, fucking Crab Legs, uh, Winston. Yeah. I can't, wow. That's crazy. Is Winston yeah. out again, though? I think Dalton might be playing one more. Yeah. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Like, Winston is out. So I'm like, Dalton might be playing. And I think Geno Smith and Pete Carroll, again, they're looking to surprise everybody. They put up 48 points last week. That's crazy. Yeah. And so, I mean, against the Lions, of course, but 48 points for that team. Come on now. It's a weird, yeah, oh, it's a weird man. game. I'm not sold on it just yet, but if they win this game, I think I'll look at them a little different. Yeah. All right, 49ers, Panthers. I got 49ers. 49ers. Gritty, I believe team. in the 49ers more. Baker more. Mayfield's ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just believe in them more and more now that Trey Lance isn't their quarterback. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, that Like that was the only cloud of uncertainty in – um. You know, and of course, I didn't wish no injury on this guy, but like now that he's not in the picture, you know, we know who they are. Yeah, and I, again, I don't think the Forty ers are going to be necessarily a good team, but I think they could be a wild card team, mm -hmm. and I think Garoppolo gets them that. I think Trey Lance again has a higher ceiling than what you're going to get with Garoppolo, but there's a way lower floor and a way higher chance of getting that floor versus that ceiling which yeah, garoppolo you know he's, he's safe garoppolo garoppolo is alex smith as fuck yes he's I safe know. and yeah. it works for the franchise especially when they really focus on having a better defense and their defense is it wasn't expected to be all that this year but it's turned out to be pretty decent so yeah. i think they'll coast on that and debo samuel is just enough firepower to yeah, get them you know debo samuel get them in at least a playoff hard. spot I fuck with Debo. And we don't have to get into the Eagles-Cardinals. We already know you got Eagles. I got Cardinals. Mm -hmm. Again, 
man, I really do want to. I think I think the Eagles are gonna win, mm -hmm. but my heart wants me to wants the Cardinals to win. And this is gonna be the one game that I'm literally just rooting for out of heart. The other ones I've rooted for for a reason. Like I really yeah, thought we were gonna yeah. get those. This one is purely out of heart, and I could see us pulling off that miracle win, and I'll be damned if we get that miracle win, and I'm, you know, I picked against myself. But honestly, the Eagles are probably going to win. I'll say it now. Well, I'm going to talk my shit just in case they don't. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have anything to say. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we'll, honestly, we'll I, said, I said everything I had to say prior. So Cowboys, Rams. I mean, Cowboys, I picked the Cowboys and Cooper Rush and those guys to perform. I got Rams. I, the Rams, it's similar to that Raiders 0-3 situation. The Rams need a win. They have to win this game. They it's, do. It's very important to win this game. They do. Cowboys can afford to lose this game. It's yeah, one of those affordable yeah. losses. Call me Here Tim you and go. all. There Call you me go. Tim and all. There you go. But, you know, I'm, I'm saying overall, though, like I feel like, uh, you know, the guys that are on the Cowboys defense, their defense has been playing really good underratedly, though. I feel like they got an underratedly good defense. Diggs, I still don't really believe in him like that, but I still believe that he will show up, you know. Like, I don't believe he's as bad as everybody says he is, of course, but, like, I don't believe he's as good as, like, he's being given credit for either. Yeah, I but can agree. I, I can see him actually being out there and uh, giving Cooper Cup, you know, some trouble. And the fact that they haven't even really been targeting uh, Allen Robinson at all, you know, like, it's just like, okay, if you guys are only going to look at Cooper Cup, we know what to do, you know, so. Yeah, I think the Rams figure Cooper. some things out this game, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Bengals Ravens, another 50 50 game for us. I picked the Bengals. I picked the Ravens. I think Lamar Jackson is going to win. I think, mm -hmm. I think, honestly, I think it's him alone that's going to cast his team over them. I would, they're pretty even teams right now overall. And like situations are two and two. They're both, well, honestly, no, I would say the Bengals are struggling a tiny bit more. I would Ravens say they're are, struggling too because the Ravens are damn near a 4 0 team. Their losses mm -hmm. were tough losses that you can't even fully fault the team on. You know what I mean? They were yeah. shootout losses. They lost to Miami and Buffalo. Yep. Two of the top yeah. five teams. Yeah, they those, lost to other top five teams literally. by a hair. Yeah. I, I can't I mean, really fault them on either of those. You're losses. right, but, but this team isn't a bad team either. No, the and Bengals aren't like a bad team, but Bengals I don't think they're aren't as good as bad, they are. And I feel like against are. this Ravens team as well. The way that Tua was throwing that ball against them, I feel like this this Bengals team has that same offensive firepower. I don't think they found it though. I think they, they've uh, lost it this season. Man, I think if anything, week five is, is the, the week time they wake they up. Can yeah. find it. That's I see. What I'm saying. I, I like, can see that. Like, like you that. know, it's been it's been four weeks. Like we I gotta do something. I thought this was a fifty fifty game, so yeah. I, I could I can see that. So. We got Raiders and Chiefs as the last matchup. Raiders are ass. They got their one win last let's, week. Let's, Jeez. Patrick Mahomes. Let's fucking, fuck yeah, let's go, man. He's putting 40 on him. We can end the podcast right now. <laughs> yeah, he's putting 40. I'm not talking about the fucking Raiders. <laughs> and, and, um, and, um, Real quick, this week in fantasy. Yeah, that's our last thing I was going to get into. We face off in fantasy. And and I am projected to win 62% by the fan votes. <laughs> the people have spoken. Man, that's because his ass run the goddamn... <laughs> he, he, he voted on his page and he voted on the goddamn... I can't, the, I can't vote on the Screw City Pod. I can't vote on the City Pod. I tried. I tried. Get out of I tried. Here. I can't. He tried. You heard him? I can't. He's going to be throwing fucking games, bro. <laughs> anyway, bro, but uh, he... I, all right, whatever. The fans have look, spoken. Look, the I could have sent who, it to more people, and the votes would have went to you. Yeah, but obviously. I purposely didn't send it yeah, to more who? people. I, I kept don't, the I don't know small. who the fuck <laughs> thought they knew football and was looking at our rosters and was like, "Hey, bro, like, like if this was Madden, my <laughs> roster's better." To put it if okay, fucking, to put it into perspective, ESPN projects him to win fifty-five to forty-five percent. Uh huh. And then the fans voted sixty-two to thirty-eight percent. <laughs> Bro, I, like I said, man, like Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, <laughs> Aaron Jones, Nick Chubb. Hey, Nick Chubb is better than Aaron Jones. So you just read that one wrong. Saquon Barkley. Who, Pierce? P yeah, it's the Houston Texans running yeah, exactly. back. He's actually what? been going what? off. He's actually been Justin going off. Justin Jefferson, T. McLaurin. Okay, that one I'll give you. T. Higgins. Darius London? Who was it? Darius London? Was yeah, he he's felt good. Drake yeah. London? Drake Lee's been no. really good. I, I bet he's he is, but Falcons. they're playing the fucking, they're playing Tampa Bay this week. Yeah, but he's going to get a lot of touches. Listen, PPR, baby. Listen, bro. PPR. Everybody that he that that his team is facing, they're the they're the team that's going to lose, okay? Brady. It doesn't matter. It's about the stats, it's not about Listen. Wins. Listen. Um, um, Brady's going to win. Um, what the fuck is, 
Yeah, man. Thielen on Chicago. It's oh, he's going off, bro. It's ten catches. Yeah, man. Right that's there. Justin Jefferson versus Chicago. No, man. Come on, no, bro. No, Come on, bro. No. Jefferson's gonna get Mike one Evans, catch for three receptions. I got, I got Mike Evans catch, against fucking Atlanta. Oh, the right. Ah. I got that one. <laughs> I got Mike Evans versus Atlanta. Come on, bro. I got T. Higgins versus Baltimore. That's a cook. I got Saquon versus fucking Green Bay. That's a cook. I got Aaron Jones versus the fucking Giants. That's a cook. I got... We'll see. Lamar Jackson versus Cincinnati. All That's a cook. All I know is the fans have smoke, spoken. Yeah, and they're yeah. probably smoking. They smoking. Well. They yeah, probably smoking they as well. smoking. I ain't going to say what <laughs> they smoking, but they got to be smoking. But all right, man. I might fucking play the Eagles defense against... Yeah. Do it. I do it. I hope the Eagles are your downfall. I hope I get to double win. I hope I get Man, to double I win might, on this motherfucker this week. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. But I might right. I might go with goddamn San Francisco against Carter. If there's no more episodes ever again, it's because we got into a fight over this week. So we'll see you guys ah. later. <laughs>